Hi guys, the objective of this video is to define all the terms we use to describe metamorphic rocks. Metamorphic rocks are either foliated or not foliated. Foliation refers to the stripes that can occur through metamorphic rocks. We often separate our metamorphic rocks up into two separate categories, according to whether they are foliated or not foliated. But why does foliation occur? Foliation, or what is sometimes called schistosity, occurs because the minerals in the rock develop a clear orientation. The minerals will develop this orientation due to pressure along one axis while the rock is being recrystallized. Foliation can either be continuous or discontinuous, as we can see in these images here. Here we have continuous foliation, which does not stop, whereas here we can tell that there's a general direction of foliation on the rock, however they are not in continuous lines. Some minerals have a predisposition to form elongated crystals, such as quartz and feldspar. When we apply pressure in one direction, these elongated crystals line up and create our foliation. Some metamorphic rocks will not present foliation. These rocks have been either subjected to uniform pressure from all sides, not subjected to pressure at all, as in the case of contact metamorphic rocks, or they do not contain minerals with directional growth habits. Metamorphic rock that forms through contact metamorphism will not have foliation, as it will not be subjected to pressure. Another term used to describe certain metamorphic rocks is granoblastic or hornfelsic. Granoblastic and hornfelsic are terms used to describe a rock which has interlocking crystals that are equigranular. The texture of the rock is described as phaneritic, which means we can feel the crystals. And the crystals are anhedral, as the crystals are not formed with clear faces and edges. These rocks are not foliated and do not contain porphyroblasts. Granoblastic rock often forms through the process of contact metamorphism. Marble and quartzite are two examples of, gr of granoblastic metamorphic rock. Marble forms through the contact metamorphism of limestone and quartzite forms through the contact metamorphism of sandstone. Here I have mentioned that granoblastic rock does not contain porphyroblasts. Porphyroblasts are actually large euhedral crystals within the metamorphic rock. Wollastonite is a mineral that only forms through metamorphic action. And these porphyroblasts that we can see within the wollastonite only really form due to metamorphic transformation. So now we know all the terms we use to describe metamorphic rock. Just to summarise, foliated rock usually indicates that regional metamorphism has occurred. Non-foliated rock indicates that the rock has either undergone contact metamorphism or the rock doesn't actually contain any minerals with a preferred orientation of the mineral grain. Granoblastic rock is rock that has interlocking crystals and this usually indicates that the rock has undergone contact metamorphism. Porphyroblasts are large euhedral crystals which only form in metamorphic rock and therefore indicate that metamorphism has occurred. Thanks for watching guys. In the next video I'm just going to classify a whole load of different metamorphic rocks using these terms that we've just covered.